Hello. I decided to make a little cooking vlog. I'm going to make a squash soup. It's my favorite. I used to hate soups. Like, would never, ever, ever have them. I just thought they were just... I just couldn't. Until I started making my own and I make they have like texture to them. I don't like blend them to like they're so liquidy. I like to have like a bit of a bit of texture to it. So I'm gonna show you how I make my squash soup because it's delicious and everybody needs to have a little bit of squash soup in their life. So let's get started. Okay, so what I use for my soup is a squash. I usually use a bigger squash than this, but this was the only size that they had. I have some garlic. I usually use one carrot and one celery, but because my squash is smaller, I decided to double these. So two celeries, two carrots. I use some avocado oil. I use veggie stock. Um, and then for my spices, I use some salt and pepper. This is my favorite. This is this mango chipotle. It goes so nice on everything. So I put a little bit of this in the soup. It gives it just like a little bit of a kick. It doesn't really make it spicy, but it just kind of adds a little something and then I use a little bit of thyme as well oh yeah and an onion don't forget the onion so yeah this is the makings of my soup so we're gonna get all of these fellas chopped first and then we're gonna get to cooking first thing I do is I do the squash because this takes the longest I like to get all my veggies chopped first and then kind of get to cooking and then I can just cook as I go so we're gonna do this but I'll speed it up so you're not bored <laughs> So this is my squash. I usually have probably like a cup more, but um, this is just all I have right now. I'm actually using this white onion instead of the red one because I just used a bit of it earlier on. So I'm just gonna take the rest of it and use this. So I have a good sized pot and I'm gonna heat this up some avocado oil in there. So I heat this up on like a medium to high just to get the temperature up and then I usually cook it on like just a little bit above a medium. I have my onion chopped up here, I have my squash and then in here I have my carrot and celery and then I have my garlic in here. I just have two cloves of garlic so I'll cook this for a couple of minutes and then I'll put the garlic in on top and heat all that up first. By the way, I'm not a chef or any way a professional cook. I just do things that work for me. So some things might be wrong, but it works for me. the lid on that just for like two or three minutes i'm also going to add my seasoning so i'm going to take my mango chipotle and my thyme and put this in here so just kind of as much as you want really so i'm going to add the celery and carrot now so i just Leave that to kind of soak in the oil for another couple of minutes. While that's doing its thing, I'm gonna do my stock. So I have one veggie stock that I put in. I usually use 750 mils of water, but again, because I don't have the same amount of squash as what I usually use, I'm gonna probably use maybe about 500 mils because I don't like my soup too watery. So I'm just gonna dissolve this first. So I'm gonna fill that up to about 500 mils. You know what, I'm gonna do 400 first. Just to be on the safe side. So our veggies are doing nicely in there. I'm just gonna add this on top. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the water ratio at that. As I'm blending it, if it's too thick, I can always add more water, so I'll just leave this now, put the lid on it and come back and check it in about 10 minutes. Okay, so I checked on the soup and all the 
the veggies are soft. What I do now is I take this, is this like a hand, a hand blend, a hand mixer? They're so good. If you cook a lot or you make soups or sauces or anything like that, then you need one of these. So you just put it in and then you can just mash everything together in the bowl. And that's what I like about this because then I can control how much it blends. As I said, I like to have a bit of texture in my soup, so that's what I really like about these ones. Okay, so that's it blended. So you can see here, like it has like the little textury bits in it. That's my favorite. If you prefer your soup to be like more liquidy and more runny, then you can add more water and blend it for longer. But for me, this is perfect. Delicious.